I came up with this video off the top of my mind. So, when I said the next video was going to be pretty funny with some big fish, that did not mean this one. This one is not that funny at all. Um, my next video will be pretty funny. Not much talking, more catching. Thought uh, you would like to see the gear I was using to catch those big fish. Well, haven't caught any big fish yet, but you'll see it in my next video. Just editing it up, um, adding some clips. It'll, the next video will be up pretty shortly. Today I'm going to be doing a tackle box tour, and I'm going to show you my two heavyweight fishing rods. My other fishing rods were left in the boat, and the boat has its cover on, so I'm going to show you what I got so far. And I'm going to show you my tackle box. All right, we're starting out with the top layer. I have my shark hooks and all my hooks and swivels and weights. Here's my one of my shark hooks. That's my normal size shark hook I use. And then I got my sw barrel swivels. And then I got my smaller size bait hooks. Try hooks and J hooks. And then I got my bobber for my hand line. And I got my lighter weight weights. Got my steel leader leaders with the swivels on the end. And I got one more bobber. And I got my sabiki rig. We're using that. And then I got my fishing knife. Good bait knife. And here comes the second layer. This is my second layer of my tackle box. I got all my plastics. I got my two ounce pyramids and my three ounce. And then here comes my heavyweight weights. I got my six ounce sinkers, as you can see. And then I got my tools, my Leatherman and my fake Leatherman. Still works. I use it for the pliers. And then I got my jig heads for my halibut tails. I'll show you those in a second. Then I got all my bigger sumos and stuff. Shiners. Got my striped bass and other lures. And then I have my striped bass lure. Striped bass lures. Move on to the third level. So here's the third level. So here are the tails, the bottoms of the for the halibut rig, like for this jig head. I put them on this for the root beer flake. I got it at um, Bass Pro Shops in San Jose. Um, and then this one, the Magnum Rattle Swim Chad, he bigger duty, heavier duty. Um, got it for a halibut. With really big size. And then I got my 50 pound scale. Um, good good scale. And then it has a three foot measuring tape. And then I got my smaller size Saviki. Next time I go to Santa Barbara, I'm going to be using this. And then I got my bigger falcon feather. So Saviki. And this one, I'm going to probably be catching a smaller size shark on this, hopefully. And one, another one of my speakies. We're using that. And then my hand line, I have a six ounce weight on it. And then I caught my, there, my next video, I'll be have. oh, I caught a leopard shark on this. This, it was about a one footer. I have a six ounce sinker, sinker on that. And then all my tackle box dividers, extras. I have a steel eater I broke. Probably going to throw that away. And then I have my sturgeon rig. Barbless circle hook. Um, I wish it was barbed, actually, because every time I put some bait on it to catch a sturgeon, bait always falls off. And I, the orange flashers. And there's my bottom layer. There's my tackle box. Next, I'll be showing you my heavyweight fishing rods. My other ones are in the boat. Um, now I'm gonna be showing you my heavyweight fishing rods. I'm gonna start out with my Akuma Avenger. It's a two piece. Um, 
I caught my three foot leopard shark on this and my it'll be in my next video. Um it's a two piece, as you can see. Nice rod by Akuma. It's the Avenger. I got it at Big Five about for about seventy dollars. Has a good clicker. And I'll show you my next and good rod. Here is my brand new one. Whoops, the clicker's on. And it is a an Abri Classic, six foot six inches. Really good rod bend. Right now I'm put, putting about 20 pounds of force, bending about that much. Hopefully catch some really big fish on this bat ray. And then I'll show you my reel. It is the Pen Warfare 30. Brand new Warfare and brand new rod. I got this rod in Santa Cruz. And I got this pen at a big five for about $100. It was on big sale. Originally 130. Really good turn. It is a conventional. Both of those rods are conventionals. And I'm pretty sure it's about 40 pound max drag. I'll show you the boat that we just recently got. Next, my new salty crew hat. Largemouth bass. Like it a lot. My new boat, the Sea Dew Challenger. Uh, my fishing rods are in there. Sadly, my lightweight, or I have one halibut rod in there. Um, my lightweight. And here's the new boat, Sea Dew Challenger 1800. It's in. So jet skis have one eight, 800 motor, and th this has two 800s, twin 800s. We need, we just got new spark plugs for it because the last time we went out on this, the one of the spark plugs gave out, and we went out home on one engine. It's 18 feet, and hopefully catch some really big fish on this one. This one, go out to Oakland.